Hey everyone, this is Ben Wisner, Read Live team member at Read Naturally. Welcome back to a new school year. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the changes in the latest update to the Read Live program, version 2.1, which was released on September 3rd, 2019. I'm going to tell you what's changed in this version, then I'll provide you with a pointer to the updated video demos posted on our website, as well as the revised user guides, system requirements, and knowledge base articles that are all freely accessible at readnaturally.com. Okay, let's get started. Read Live version 2.1 has been re-engineered with the most current technologies and web standards to ensure its longevity, stability, and scalability as more schools across the country use Read Live for their struggling and developing readers. What have we done in this release? Probably the most significant change was the removal of Adobe Flash from the application. Removing Flash improves Read Live security rating and ensures Read Live won't be impacted as web browsers reduce their support of Flash Player. We've freshened up our look. We've improved navigation and responsiveness to changes in screen resolution for the staff member module. Filtering and finding information are easier than ever. Licensing is much simpler. Licenses no longer need to be distributed to staff members before being assigned to students. Roles are also simplified. We've made it even easier to add new staff members. The data entry role has gone away. Other roles like helper or school administrator have been combined or renamed. Assigning homerooms to students is much simpler. Accounts no longer need to enroll multiple staff members who aren't using Read Live just to group students into homerooms. Restricting access to only those who are working in the program helps protect student privacy. Improvements to reporting include the ability to download the students at a glance report as a CSV file, viewable in Microsoft Excel. Most reports and documents printed from Read Live no longer trigger browser pop-up blockers. Important information to note, most of which has been communicated over the past couple of weeks through emails and in-app messages. In-progress stories were reset as a part of transitioning to the new version of the program. If you didn't receive or act on our communications prior to the release, your students may have lost work when their in-progress stories were reset. If this happened to one of your students, we've listed a few options in the latest blog article about the release on our website. The Read Naturally Live iPad app has been updated. Head to the App Store and install the latest version of the app at your earliest convenience. This version includes minor fixes. Scheduled imports of student data will take place during off-peak hours. Moving intensive activities like importing to off-peak hours will improve system performance and stability for the entire community of Read Live users. The first time you log into the staff member module, you'll need to enter your account ID on the login page. After your first login, the software will once again remember your account ID. The address for the Read Live staff member module has changed. If you've set a browser bookmark to the staff member login page, you'll need to recreate it. You can get to the new staff member login page by navigating to readlivestaff.readnaturally.com or by heading to the Read Live landing page and clicking the staff member link. The student login page address remains unchanged. If you run into any issues, try clearing your browser's cache. That may help resolve some problems. Hopefully that gave you a helpful overview of the changes in the new Read Live update. For a quick demonstration of the updated staff member module, watch the orientation to Read Live video on our help page. A couple of other videos that may be useful right away are setting up and licensing students, and if you're an account administrator, assigning licenses to school and students. You can find all of our videos at readnaturally.com forward slash help. And while you're there, make sure to check out the updated user guide, release notes, and system requirements. That'll get you up and running as smoothly as possible as the new school year begins. If you have any questions or concerns about Read Live 2.1, please contact our support team via email or call us at 800-788-4085. This is Ben Wisner. Thanks for joining me, and thanks for using Read Live.